Hey, this is Zero at ReviewZone HD. I'm bringing you guys the very first Versus video to be uploaded to my channel. This week I'm going to be doing a series of videos with the Versus theme, and it may be something that I continue doing throughout the rest of this year. Now, just to explain what's going on with this video, which I may have to explain this in the next videos as well, I just got my 360 recently, and I purchased a $50 points card to be used towards whatever titles I wanted to pick up out of the marketplace to start my new Xbox 360 collection off with and the only title really in the marketplace that I had any knowledge of was this South Park Tower defense game and I had read a little bit about it but I had never played it and it's been a game that I've been wanting to play but these next few versus videos will all be for games that are not available on the PlayStation 3 I wanted to give my PS3 subscribers some videos on some of the games that they're kind of missing out on if they're considering picking up a 360. Now these versus videos are not official reviews in a sense that I spent grueling hours playing and researching, testing out the games, breaking them down. This is just pretty much me poking through the marketplace, picking a few demos that are somewhat similar in theme or genre and deciding which one I wanted to actually buy and play in my own personal time. Which, you know, I really don't get into personal stuff with my reviews. Views. So this is going to be a little bit different. So today I'm starting with South Park Let's Go Tower Defense versus South Park Tenderman's Revenge. Now I knew regardless of how bad either one of these titles could have been that I was going to be buying at least one of them if not both because South Park is my second favorite television show right next to Seinfeld and I'm really looking forward to playing the Stick of Truth which was going to be releasing next for the South Park games. But to discuss the Tower Defense game first, it sort of reminded me of Pixel Junk Monsters on the PS3, a game that I absolutely love. In fact, me and Sick played that title for a solid week last year. There's a couple different types of tower defense titles that I've had experience with playing. The super fast paced, edgier seat back and forth titles like Red Alert Commander's Challenge, which I absolutely suck at. And the other type of games being like Final Fantasy Crystal Defenders and Pixel Junk Monsters that are more slower paced and gives you a little more time to think and plan ahead. South Park's Tower Defense fits more into the slower paced category but the action itself is pretty fast paced and you're constantly running around and activating abilities and there's a lot of teamwork involved as well after playing through the first few missions I like how the game is balanced I like the challenge it's presenting it has dumbed down but very funny humor but the gameplay is definitely very strategic and definitely not dumbed down in any way in fact I've actually lost a few of these missions on the normal difficulty but moving over to Scott Tenderman's Revenge which is a completely different genre altogether the first time I played it I wasn't too impressed I didn't do the small update patch and after a few minutes of playing I cut the game off and moved on to something else but after a few days I ended up cutting it back on I downloaded and installed the patch which actually does greatly impact how this game plays out in single player and I spent a lot more time playing it after I had patched it now what this patch did for this game is it allows you to switch between all four characters on the fly when you're playing alone and every character has a special ability that lets you reach certain secret and hidden areas inside of the stage and when you're playing alone pre-patch with just one character it really sucked because you were locked into that one character and whatever ability that he has so you couldn't do certain things without playing with more people so I'm really glad that they fixed that for sure especially for people like me that just like to play the single player but this game overall even after spending 30 to 45 minutes playing the demo I just wasn't digging it all that much the character movement seemed kinda of stiff the combat itself was kinda of boring and the stiff controls made the combat even more difficult than what it should have been and in all honesty if you remove the South Park theme and the comedy from the game it really wouldn't have been worth playing but it does capture the South Park theme pretty well it's funny and I'd imagine if I had a few friends to play online with this game it could turn out to be a lot of fun but playing the single player just running around collecting stuff really didn't hold my attention for very long so the conclusion on this versus battle was I ended up buying the tower defense title and I passed on Tenderman's Revenge it could be a title that I'd pick up at some point later down the road if I really wanted to soak in some more South Park but for right now the tower defense title should keep me busy for quite a while but thanks for tuning in to the first of several versus videos this is Zero at ReviewZone HD and thanks for stopping by oh,